Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I want to play first. I'm playing Standard Pauper. I am playing Gruel Ferocious by Dr. Chris Baker. Okay, we have the Wayfinder, the Scavenger, the Battle Rage. Keep it. Keep it going. Uh, okay, not much happening on turn one. Shout out to Adner, my opponent. I recognize his name. The standard pauper player pool is not very large. Uh, that's the next turn. Time for the Wayfinder. What can we find here? What did I miss? <laughs> oh, that sucked. I missed with the Wayfinder. I don't think that has ever happened to me before. Well, I have some stuff in the graveyard. Is it time to play the Mandrills now, maybe? Actually, it is probably time to play the Mandrills. To get some action on the board, especially against uh, Double Red. So I'm going Mandrills. I'm with the Mandrills. Team Mandrill! Yes, and asked underground. Uh, I don't need to care what I put in the graveyard. Here comes the Mandrills! Mandrill! <laughs> okay, I won't do that too many times. Mandrills, Mandrills. The world is full of Mandrills! Oh, is that control, you say? Okay. I uh, should have cast the scavenger first. Ah, delve and scavenger sounds like a contradiction. Um, kill. Scout those borders. So I won't, but he's gonna counterspell me. I want the Wayfinder here, I think. Then scout the board as Wayfinder and then the world's biggest undergrowth scavenger. Or is it just time for the undergrowth scavenger now? No wayfinder. That is what I take. And scout the borders. For mandrills. And now we're gonna cast on the Gross Scavenger first. This is the first time I ever play this deck. Counterspell seems very likely here. Yeah, so I'll uh, let him counter the Mandrills and then play the Scavenger. That is my plan. I can't do it like that. I need to cast the scavenger. <laughs> no, I can cast the mandrills of like this, not hitting creatures. Two, three, four. Here comes the mandrills. That worked. Okay, then we try this too. Oh, it costs four. I should learn how to read. Uh, embarrassing. I thought it cost three. Uh, 
Yeah, Voyager Sun still have plenty of lands and stuff in my yard. Treasure cruise. Cruising for treasures. The card is so broken. Okay, now we know that undergrowth scavenger costs four. Here comes the hooting mandrills. Oh, wow, so we could counter this too, but with what? 8-8, eight, eight. oh yeah. Goes under this disdainful stroke, but he can still fly. Rise of Eagles. This is where I put uh, Nessian Asp into play, perhaps. Or do I just play the scavenger? How many bounce spells can I have? Put the creature enchantment card. No, we want the scavenger in play. Let's see if you can get rid of it. That's a lot of graveyard fillers. Okay, let's see what horrible fate will befall upon this poor scavenger. Whisk him away! Or don't. Creature enchantment, your creature. Uh, I wouldn't have bat uh, I didn't want to battle rage here because uh, he could respond with something. Maybe I should have. He is searching desperately for a response, Thundergrove Scavenger. I think my next play. Oh, it all depends on if I can attack or not. Okay. Scheme of the scheme. It will be tricky, but I will have to go for the win, I think. But getting bounced here will suck so bad. He has seen so many cards. Do I go for it or not? I feel like I can just kill an eagle. Or will he bounce? If he has the bounce here, will he bounce me? No, I'm not going for it. I'm gonna play a disciple. He 
is down to two cards. Get the red mana. <laughs> or maybe he drew it now. He only has one left. Did I only have I only have one mountain apparently? Uh, okay, swing with the disciple. Play wayfinder. For that thing. And then play the scavenger again. Now Yuganormus. But this time he gets countered. Yes. Two cards. The Minotaurs. Uh, and I don't have a creature with power four or greater. So I will try to get one. And then Battle Rage this guy. Why didn't I attack with um, the Wayfinders? Hmm. Yeah, I think I, I'm playing much too defensively with the deck. I'm just thinking about not how to not lose and when I should be thinking about how to win. And that's it. He's dead. Good game. Yeah, that was horrible. Uh, swing with the team. Okay, so how do we sideboard? Why would we want invasive species? Why would we want barrage of boulders? Rangers, guile, we're just too big for his stuff. We're only afraid of the counter spells. We don't want to savage punch anything. I don't think we're sideboarding at all. Do we want invasive species to get back the wayfinder? But what's not to like? I assume he can get stuff to block, so these are probably good. I'm just gonna play as this. Shout out to Dr. Chris Baker too, always brewing. One of the great innovators of standard popper. I like gruel. You know I'm gruel at heart. I won nationals with gruel. And I really want to play gruel. Old fans of the channel might remember Gruel Blood Moon by Modern Deck. Which I loved. Uh, commune with nature. Okay, I'm keeping. Just looking for an excuse to keep. And then we're gonna have to try to resolve all those fatties. But mandrills is nice. Sneaking in. We're getting a green mana. Nullify risk is huge. But you can't nullify what you cannot see. You can't nullify what the gods say. Is it the scavenger? That must be our best creature, isn't it? Okay. 
And now I have four cards I can get rid of here for the mandrills. So we could actually cast mandrills next turn. That can't be a good idea. Or can it? He will just be nullified. We'll nullify a disciple instead next turn, and then we'll try to cast a disciple and uh, uh, mandrills. Tygan is scheming. The card economy here is not correct. I think this is not good enough. You can power treasure cruise naturally. That's what I think. I think it's too much index over that. Okay. So, disciple. Some tree drops would be nice. Flurry of horns. How big is my dude now? He's just a tree tree. And we once again miss our land drop. Scavenger can't be right here. Mandrill for two, but I'm not keeping up anything useful. Or just disciple, he will just get burned. I am going for the mandrills. All right, but he can bounce them easily. And that's exactly what happens. So he could tempo me out here. Uh, commune with nature to find more. Oh, we can't find land with that. But we do find mandrills. Yeah, we want the mandrills. No, we want the wayfinder. That's what we want. We already have mandrills. And I miss again. <laughs> Incredible! How many lands are in this deck? 20. Well, that explains something. 20 land and how many 5 drops? 4 snakes, 4 nests and asps. Uh, okay, I see a problem. Do we have four Elvish Mystics and four Wayfinders? Kind of 28 mana, but apparently not. Now I think I can't recover. Okay, Barrage of Boulders looks idiotic in this deck. In this matchup. So I should have sideboarded that out. Surely Invasive Species or something would be better. He happily taps out here. Uh, of course, because he is very close to lethal. And I'm sure he can bounce my... I can't cast the asp. I'm gonna play the scavenger. Block and uh, try to improvise from there. 
Just a five five. <sighs> Void snare. What new devil is this? Uh oh. Yeah, that's it for that game. I'm taking out the barrage. I really need something quick when I am stuck on land. And I think maybe my sedge scorpions are somewhat useful. No, it's got to be species. And I think I'm taking out the battle rage too. So I am feel that I, it's too risky often. Gruel Ferocious. Started out so nicely. Then it all went south. But now we will defeat Adner. Oh my god. But we have the commune with nature. Keep it. Play the evolving wilds for a green. No need to be secretive about anything. In the last duel. Swift water cliffs. We commune with nature. Taking creature or enchantment. How big are you? Wow. This guy is bad. But we'll take him. And now we are almost ready. We are ready. To go to town next turn. With the mandrills. But he, he just needs nullify mana. And then we can't do it. Okay, now we can't do it. We can play the wayfinder. And highlands. At least I didn't miss. Okay, we're going for the Mandrill uh, Undergrowth Scavenger play. That's what we are doing. Swing. Something is happening. Divination? No, it's the stupid starfish. And he's here to block all day. And boy, will there be stuff to block. But now he did tap out. Uh, mandrills, wilds, battle rage, wilds, commune with nature, scout the borders. Mandrills! These are just three creatures. That's not too exciting, is it? So play another Mandrills. Yes! You need a lot of bouncer. Maybe you have a lot of bounce. At 
Tak. Invasive Species Replay Wayfinder. Now maybe he kills the Wayfinder in response. Scry is cry. There is scrying happening. Return Wayfinder. Play Wayfinder. Uh, I did not do that correctly. Now I need to find the forest. And there it is. And I play the forest. But I don't want to play the mandrills into this, do I? I don't want to lose all the guys in my graveyard. Complicated. That would really suck. No, I can't do it. He has six cards. Can I break through with my violence? Well, if he taps out now, the scavenger comes. But he's not too scared of that. Wow, I hit him for seven. Uh, snake. Uh, no snake. And uh, no mandrills. But next turn I can play them both. After he taps something, he needs to tap something. And he does. Flurry of horns. So I just attack and then play my two guys. That will be great. Do I attack with the Wayfinder? Well, it does get my other guy to be bigger. Attack! That's fine with me. Scavenger. Seven, seven. <sighs> Do I now want to remove a creature? I will remove a creature. Mandrills. This is all I have. Will it be enough? Eight mana. Even another flurry horns won't be enough to handle the scavenger. 
He has to. Oh, I should uh, see what uh, what what he cries. How he cries. He says another scry to the bottom, back on top. I never heard anybody complain about that before. Four mana. Just a bounce spell, but that's not enough. You need to do something. Here they come. Yeah, all of them. Starfish has a mission. No, don't kill the Wayfinder. What the hell are you doing? Are you taking seven? No, there must be a bolt or something. Okay, let's see where the scry goes now. Scry on the bottom. There was no bolt. So I asked invasive species uh, land. Even a rugged highlands for some value. I think. Which I should have tapped, of course. How does he recover from this? He has eight mana, so bolt. A Rise of Eagles and he lives another turn. Or Bolt Flurry Horns. When I say Bolt, I mean Lightning Strike. But he doesn't have time to go Dirtling. It's Rise of Eagles. Uh, or a Voyage, uh, and a Voyage's End will also work nicely. He needs to have a card here. So let's see what it is. Oh, we didn't get to see it. We're at 29. Defend yourself. Should be Voyager's End. For the mandrills and not the species. Well, I guess that works. Oh, uh, pretty rough. And of course we are recasting the... Uh, see if anything is not a creature. Every Everybody is a creature, so... But we are still recasting... The mandrills. That nice list, so I have to give credit to Doc Baker because it's his list. Felt very powerful, it did. Yeah, now it's hard. Uh, draw all the cards you want, blue boy. Because here they come. He says it looks well fit for the meta, and I think it is. Victory for Gruul. Gruul smash. Gruul smash tiny red, uh, red blue thing. A minotaur so tiny. Gruul smash them. Smash? 
uh, except maybe versus heroics uh, the, that's what the uh, savage punches are for in the sideboard right for heroics i think maybe gruul smash gruul smash thank you adner oh so many nice things a gruel smash nice things that's why we can't have nice things because of gruel <laughs> thank you for watching